Hello everyone and welcome to the channel, I'm Emanuel, I'm an Airbus pilot and in this video I want to answer a question that I get every now and then in the comments underneath my videos. That is, why and how do we either set the FCU in steps of 100 feet or in steps of 1000 feet? So let's dive right into it. You can see that by default I have the altitude selector set to steps of 100 instead of 1000. But many flight simmers do like to use the 1000 position. So how do we do it in the real world? Well, by default we keep it on 100. But whenever we get larger changes in altitude, we're going to switch it over to 1000, set the new altitude like I'm doing over here. And once the new altitude is set, I'm going to switch it back to steps of 100. Why do we do it? Well, there is a rather simple reason behind it. Let's say that you have quick fingers and that you just want to do a quick change on your FCU altitude. Well, it is rather easy to accidentally hit the button again when you are touching the selector knob. So, in the real world, when you are, for example, switching or when you are dialing in an altitude, it is rather easy to accidentally just dial it by a step or two more. So for this reason, when we change it over to steps of thousands, we can quickly and easily change our target altitude. But by changing the selector back to 100, if we now accidentally hit the altitude knob again, then we are going to get a value that does just not look right. Now, with does not look right, I mean that our traffic control is typically not, not going to clear you to a flight level of 3, 2, 1. At low altitudes, where terrain can be a, a matter, obviously you might get some clearances like descent 4,700 feet. But in the higher flight levels, usually that doesn't happen. And in general, if terrain is an issue, you will be aware of it. So, for that reason, changing the altitudes in steps of thousands is obviously easier, but keeping the selector on the 100 when it is not used is going to make it much more visible in case you accidentally hit the knob again and dialed in a wrong altitude. Now here's another example, 299 instead of 300 is much easier noticed than for example 310 instead of 300. Overall, to make it short, the aim is to dial in altitudes which are unreasonable when you accidentally hit the knob versus being able to quickly change the setting around when you are chain when you're instructed to change it around like when air traffic control instructs you to do so so I'm gonna keep it quick because this is literally all there is to say about it I do hope that you found this video interesting if it did then be sure to let me know in the comments below I would like to say thank you very much for watching hope that you like this one and with that, if you're up for more, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Be sure to hit that like button and comment to let me know what you think of it. And if you really like what I'm doing, I would appreciate a small donation through the Buy Me Coffee link in the video description below. Thank you very much and see you all again on the next one.